Hey everybody, it's Mike Sorga, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Basic Sorgonomics, the late post podcast day, rocking it. We're gonna talk some social media in what has become an ongoing series with my boy Eamon Payton from down in. Uh, I'm not even set up for it. The switcher doesn't even work for this thing yet. There he is, Eamon Payton at Eamon Two, please hey. from San Antonio, Texas. Joining us, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. I don't know what's going. I can hear him all right, but he's his voice. He's, he's he's delayed in his in his movements. So I don't know what's all going Am on I? there. A little bit, a little bit. It's kind of funky. That's okay. Most people are on audio, I believe. Uh, so. Of course. So we've been talking about how you guys have been really just rocking it lately. I mean, Inspire Pro Wrestling with social media, right? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and and so I wanted to make sure. And it's one of those things that just keeps falling by the wayside in discussions. And finally, uh, Ring of uh, Ring of Honor. That's what show you were at. Uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance was this past <laughs> weekend. Fall free for all, and it was a, again kind of a show. Kind of a show that uh, that that had a lot of buzz, you know. TNA wrestling, national TV, whatever was uh, was 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 up the road, right? And uh, and and not not connected to any of that. Had a pretty big uh, 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 show uh, uh, with Sanjay Dutt uh, against Amazing Red. Uh, two names that have definitely done some really cool things in that promotion of all places and around the world. Uh, so. I decided to snag the ring announcer and he's doing his announcements. And I was like, Hey, there's two things we want to do. First of all, uh, hashtag, let's do a hashtag for the show. Apparently wheels had already been starting to use one a little bit. Uh, so we made sure, Hey, let's reinforce this, make sure. And I, and you said you guys do this to a little, to a degree. Um, let them know and make sure to mention it like between a lot of matches or if there's a match that was really kind of crazy, you think people are going to talk about, make sure definitely to mention the hashtag for the show. Which is hashtag RWA Fall Free for All. I was a little worried about it being too long and illiterate, uh, illiterate, alliteration, whatever. Uh, but no, if you go <laughs> search that on uh, search.twitter.com, you can come up with a lot of images, a lot of tweets from the night, and it works out pretty well. Second bit was hey, everybody, make sure to share us. Like, kind of, we always say, hey, no recording without permission of uh, Sorgatron Media and the, and, and the, and the company. Uh, we said, hey, uh, and I don't remember how he worded, he did it tactfully of, hey, no long form recording for the most part, because, you know, again, we don't want to film entire matches, but it's like, please feel free to take pictures and video for Vine, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Okay. Uh, what we got out of that, and we were talking about this earlier, we, we, we touched on this briefly on Indie Mayhem show, I thought was a bit of, and I don't know, Eamon, if you're over there uh, uh, kind of looking at things as well to kind of see how they came out, but what we got is, again, not as much stuff as the cool guys at Inspire Pro Wrestling, but we got some <laughs> pictures. And again, I'm taking pictures as well. I, I kind of, uh, our, our own Missy wife of the show is taking pictures for both Mayhem Show and Sorgatron Media, so we're also populating this. I want to make that absolutely clear. But there are definitely fans in here um, responding as well. And, of course, we're in the uh, live one, so it's kind of like the most uh, shared and starred kind of stuff. And there's a bit of interaction going on here. And I'm loving that. And great pictures, again, of, of the kind of stars of the night, Sanjay Dunn and Amazing Red. Um, they actually had the promoter, the pr pr maybe the promoter or somebody else in his stead was uh, tweeting for him. Uh, because he may just have a flip phone. Uh, but they had a lot of cool stuff. They had a spot about the security and, and, and in one of the matches. And they took a picture of the security that was trying to keep one of the wrestlers out. You know, they, they really kind of incorporated things a bit. And talking up the storylines and, and getting a lot of different shots. And uh, and it was really cool. Here's a, it was actually a girl that they had her birthday uh, before the show. And they had one of the wrestlers come out and greet her. And she had a, a cake and everything. So, I mean, that was really cool. Like, special moments like that. That reminds me. I need to snag that mm -hmm. video and put it on YouTube because I forgot about that today. Um, but, you know, it's a start. And it and, and and this is really, you know, as I told them, I was like, hey, this is groundwork, right? Uh, you start doing this and you get in the practice of doing this for the show. So they're even talking about, they're telling me they're going to um, um, make cards to put around the show with the hashtag of that night's show. Mm -hmm to again further reinforce yes. that what was that hashtag again oh it's over there by the stage excellent good let's do this um more i'm thinking about it. i'm more if i should throw the hashtag in the video actually i definitely mm -hmm. should throw the hashtag in the video now i'm thinking about it and of course i just posted all the videos today um and i, I don't think you guys even do that right i don't know we don't but uh no i mean any little thing that you can to sort of get people uh, uh, to follow what what's going on and, and 
really the you know encouraging people to tweet about the show is one thing mm-hmm. and and that's just the that's an important thing the hashtag is more of a way to just maybe sort of loop it all together and then create something that you can sort of show and say hey this is what uh all the stuff that's been talked about our show um i i but no it's extremely important and and, and uh, I, we kind of briefly talked about it in the Mayhem show, but it is a growing process. It, it is, you know, the more you sort of encourage people to do it, the more people want to share their experience. Right, right. And you see that. And I'm seeing pictures that I didn't know were happening. Uh, we also had something very authentic happen. Uh, I don't know, authentic other than we're all absolutely insane. So finally, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know if you, I don't think you guys have these, but there's this phenomenon where there's um, these poppers, like the sticks that pop confetti instead of streamers oh, okay. when the wrestlers come out. And this happens a lot, and there's just a lot of stuff in the ring, right? And now, um, <laughs> so eventually, uh, we got this uh, uh, thing going on where uh, there everybody started chanting for the sweeper guy. The guy that came <laughs> in and swept through swept the ring whenever it got too messy, you know, and they, they'd wait a couple matches before it got really, really bad. And they would start sweeping it up. So you don't want the wrestlers to get hurt or anything. All right. You don't want to slip on that stuff. You don't want my camera guys to slip on that stuff, but, uh, or people walking past the ring. Cause there's no barrier guys. And there's not a lot of room. Okay. Uh, and they started chanting sweep, sweep, sweep. And they actually, it's like people started chanting to the new day champ sweep or guy sweep or guy. Um, no. So I wanted to help this along, so I started a hashtag sweeper guy, RWA sweeper guy, uh, for fall free for all. And started <laughs> taking some pictures while I was sitting there at production and at, at intermission. This was this is Chachi's idea. Uh, he's like, grab a quick, grab a broom. I'm like, what are we doing right now? And we got pictures with the sweeper guy. Uh, so nice. so there you go, sweeper guy. We're gonna make him at least a localized internet phenomenon (laughs) (laughs) and i was asked at one point is like can we get this trending uh basically the show for the night and uh i got to thinking about you know if we got enough people in there talking about it yes regionally yes we could have had this show trending there's a very good possibility if you're in the pittsburgh area and you're in whatever your your app is and and it shows you stuff that's trending trending uh geographically for the pittsburgh area right there's a very good possibility that hashtag RWA all free for all might have popped up and maybe that exposed more people to it. Eamon, can I tell you, I, I, I started doing something that I learned from you and, and I kick myself every time I do it that I have not thought of it in all these years that I've been doing this stuff. Okay. So you specifically said uh, that you hashtagged what ATX for Austin, Texas. Yep. Whatever that case may be. Now, Pittsburgh, of course, is a very distinguishable. We, it's Pittsburgh with the H. Nobody else has that. Yep. The one in California doesn't <laughs> have the H. F those guys. Don't forget the H. Don't forget the H. Um, so I started doing hashtag Pittsburgh. It localizes mm. it. Even when we're 45 minutes away in West Dune, it's still Pittsburgh wrestling, right? And uh, I've even been doing that with some of my clients. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's 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 so simple right and 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 and, and um and definitely giving more thought on the wrestling I, I mean i had already done analysis for tags for my clients but i had not thought about it as much for the wrestling side of things and and you guys have kind of uh, helped me along there so i mean you're looking at you're looking at the hashtag scene the kind of stuff going for for a first effort what do you think of uh what we got out of this for anybody that wants to follow along this uh Hashtag RWA free for all. Uh, I think it's great. I think that um, going back to it, uh, and again, going to some of the stuff we mentioned on the Indie Mayhem show, uh, encouraging people to share their experience is so important, especially with wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, wrestling is a social event in many ways. So you want to attract people not just by passing out flyers, not just by promoting an event, you know, in the means in which you, know, you would normally promote an event but if people see enough of the experience that fans have in a pro wrestling environment they would want to come to those shows and i feel like if the more you treat wrestling like any other form of entertainment the better um even if it's not major like 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 obviously you said like this is a good start for you guys but obviously there's more you can do and 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 more people you know more 
span that you can you can have and 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 i feel that it's just going to come with time uh the more you just keep up and promote it and 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 stick with it um you know it's not the right thing but it's it's something that when when taken care of and grown it it, it can be really great um it seems like you got a good understanding of like the stuff uh especially on your end like the stuff to share like 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 the little kitschy stuff, like the like uh, the sweeper guy and stuff like that, you know, getting you know just shots of the like I, the one thing that inspired us a lot is like uh, uh, like shots of the crowd just to show how big it is and 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 I, I mean it's it's kind of like a little you know hey we're you know doing big things or whatever but it's a good way to do it like it's a good way to promote that um, you know big time matchups like Sanjay Dutt and, and Amazing Red that's a good thing to share around and and. and you know, be like, hey, two TNA guys, you know, in, in RWA ring. Um, you know, using it, you know, in the in those ways to promote the experiences is is great. And I'm I'm glad RWA is uh, doing it and and, and really uh, focused on that now. Right, right. And it looks great. And even like the shots that we are like even our people were taking, um, a lot of them are from like for me, I always do these shots. Uh, if you're on the video version, I always take shots of, and I've done this since I've been on, on this side of production. Uh, I'll take a shot of my monitor and the ring in front of me. And you'll see, you know, a few rows of people there uh, in, in between us. And the focus may be one way or another. Again, this is my view of the night, you know. Um, I don't yeah. get to watch a wrestling show. I get to watch a wrestling <laughs> show on TV and make decisions uh, when I'm when I'm at these shows, you know. Um Oftentimes I'll forget, or maybe somebody will get close to me. Like like we we were talking about Amazing Red. Uh, there was a, a point where they were, he was kind of thrown through the tr- chairs. It was one of those you know flip spots off of the ring, and he got pushed basically through the entire set of chairs that were in front of me, like three or four rows, right? And then I was like, you know, I'm looking down and I'm switching, and I'm making sure I catch it and everything, and I'm like, that thump field really felt really close to me. And I look up and there's a guy right in front of my table. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor yeah. you know realizing he almost like seriously almost like slid into me right um which would have been a problem because i have a lot of equipment on my table and and if so- the wrong thing got jostled you know it would just would have been a bad news for everybody um you know and it, it's, it's very interesting to see that and and, and again that perspective and, and and again perspective from the other side I, I do like uh where we're positioned we do get a lot of that you know um, I say we were taking pictures from over on Mayhem show. And for the most part, we, you know, it's partly where she was, but I love the feel because she's looking over and around people <laughs> to, in order to get what's in the mm-hmm. ring. And even more so makes it feel like there's a ton of people in there. And there were, I mean, it was 200 plus people in there um, in this small gymnasium with a ring in the middle. Uh, so I think it comes off very well. And I hope, I hope helps uh, better represent the company. That's again. I can we call? Can we still call it an upstart? I guess it's still an upstart in the area as far as things are concerned. Um, and, and 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 but my, I don't want to say my job, but my goal has been to help these guys um, uh, become bigger than just you know. Obviously, they're great at bringing that local crowd in and booking for that local crowd, but showing hey, there's something cool happening here, and more people should know about it. You know. Yeah. So. Well, on that note, Eamon, thank you for joining me once again. Thank you, sir. I'm, we- I'm happy to be part of this trifecta. It's a, it's a nice little three-part series. It is. It is. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep going. Maybe we'll just Tuesday nights or Wednesday morning when you guys get this. Maybe we'll just generally be our uh, – I mean, it's social media applied, if nothing else, and it is in the world of pro wrestling, yeah. and it is looking at something different. And I hope people uh, – I get something out of it, even if it's not your th- your bag with social media, or I'm sorry, with a with a, a, a wrestling. You know, it's like, well, if it's applying this way, maybe it'll apply this way for me. I hope maybe you can take a piece of an anecdote here and apply it to to your life. So, Eamon is at Eamon to please on the Twitters. Voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling he joins me on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and is also my direct co-host on the Indie Mayhem Show, where we interview pro wrestlers and people around pro wrestling. Uh, it's been a great 88 part series so far. Uh, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, we should just pick a number and say part 88 of an X number series, uh, for, 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 <laughs> for now on. But anyways, 
can we just? But then we gotta stop it right there. We gotta stop it right there. Uh, Part eighty-eight of a five (laughs) hundred part series. Um, So we'll get a good uh, what three years out of? No, actually that's ten years, isn't it? Three or four. You know what? We're we're let's let's just we'll do we'll pick a different number every week. Anyway, sorry. Um, (laughs) Check out everything Sogatron.com. Of course, the newsletter, everything you can sign up for right there. Other articles, blogs, etc. On social media, technology, video. Um, We got a lunch and learn nuts and bolts of uh, microphones demystifying that stuff coming up here on October 1st. You can join us remotely. We added that option, and it's a little cheaper because you have to bring your own lunch because I'm we did it to list logistically. The caterer is up the street. I can't send it to X town here. I have Eamon. I can't send you Sweet Potatoes Catering in San Antonio. Stop asking me. You get a discount. Okay, oh, Eamon? Okay, I'm so sorry. Hard. It's delicious, I know. But uh, that local it's flavor. What's that? I said I want a sweet potato. You want a sweet potato? It is actually, sweet potato I don't theory? even, they call it sweet potatoes. I don't think they have sweet potatoes on the menu. I'm not even sure. That, that, that's really false advertising. <laughs> it's like a picture of a lemon on their on their logo. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Basic Sorganomics. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.